So in 2015, one of the two uh, major political parties in the UK, the Labour Party, was taken over by Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn was a much more left-wing leader than had previously been the case with the Labour Party. He was a self-declared socialist. He wanted to uh, end austerity. He wanted to bring public services back into public ownership. He wanted to reduce <coughs> inequality. He was a left-wing leader. His party was not a left-wing party, though. The, the political party in Parliament, the PLP, uh, were far more centrist, and they were very strongly opposed to him. And they tried to depose him more or less immediately and um, forced him to stand again as leader the following year, but he survived. One of his key lieutenants was an MP called Chris Williamson, who was the MP for Derby North. Um, and it's Chris Williamson that we're talking about here. Chris Williamson gave a speech to Momentum, a group who had been set up to support Jeremy Corbyn's leadership of the party, um, in 2019, in February 2019, in which he made some remarks. We'll look at those remarks in a moment. But the accusation made by many, many people, but prominent amongst them, Nick Robinson, BBC's senior political correspondent, um, was that he had said that the Labour Party had been too apologetic for anti-Semitism. So let's now listen to the recording of what Chris Williamson actually said at that Momentum meeting in Sheffield in February 2019. And I would just draw your attention to his final remarks in the clip in which he talks about anti-Semitism as being a scourge. He speaks of addressing the scourge of anti-Semitism. This allegedly is an anti-Semite speaking. So when we look at the, the remarks that Mr. Williamson made in that Sheffield meeting, we see that that isn't what he said at all. We have to, because it's a paragraph of speech, we have to sort of take it apart a bit to understand what the words too apologetic refer to. What he's saying is that the party had been, in his words, demonised as a racist, bigoted party. And this is that's plainly the case. The political and media estate in the UK did, after a couple of other things, try to de, um, destabilise the Labour Party and delegitimise it under Jeremy Corbyn by making claims that it was, uh, it was having an anti-Semitism crisis. And Mr Williamson's remarks were taken to be uh, an example of that anti-Semitism crisis. But in fact, that isn't what he was saying at all. What he was saying was that the Labour Party had been demonised as a racist, bigoted party. And this is quite clearly true. Um, a, a left Labour activist, a Jewish Labour activist called Jackie Walker, for instance, had made some remarks which had been uh, leaked, um, and she, she was accused of saying that Jews controlled the slave trade. That isn't what she said at all. That's not what she said. And in fact, um, Nick Robinson of the BBC had made this claim. I had complained to the BBC about it. He had been, it was found in my favour, astoundingly. It was, um, it was an insufficiently accurate impression of what, she, of what she had said. And so he was forced to delete the tweet, although he never apologised for it. But in so doing, he made this further smear against Chris Williamson, MP, saying that he had said that the Labour Party had been too apologetic for anti-Semitism. And this was the kind of... Um, the, 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 the accusation against Jackie Walker was the kind of accusation that Chris Williamson was talking about in his speech, false and exaggerated or just made up claims of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. This is what he was saying. The party had been demonised as a racist, bigoted party. He goes on to say he thinks the party had been to some degree responsible for that or had not done enough about that and in fact had given too much ground, been too apologetic. Too apologetic there, plainly referring back to those who would demonise the party as a racist, bigoted party. 
because you should not be apologetic to people who make false claims. You should call the false claims out. And this is what he was saying. His comments, though, were completely misquoted by BBC, Guardian, everyone else subsequently, as saying, as, as if he had said the Labour Party have been too apologetic for anti-Semitism, i.e. anti-Semitism just doesn't matter very much. We don't need to be apologetic about it. Of course, that's absolutely not the case. Anti-Semitism is an appalling thing which must always be dealt with severely. No political party should ever tolerate it in any form, and certainly Corbyn's Labour Party did not. But th th this accusation hangs in the air now against Chris Williamson. It is very, very difficult to take away this, this uh, accusation uh, be because it involves unpicking a whole paragraph of speech that he made. It's not, it's not a simple written statement, it's a spoken statement. And so it is, it's, it's kind of possible to pretend that it means something that it doesn't. But when we look closely at the words and we look closely at the speech, we find, in fact, that the claim uh, that Chris Williamson said the Labour Party had been too apologetic for anti-Semitism is, in fact, false. <laughs>